Happy Mode production deals with various video sources. Each source delivers the stream with its own delay from original time. Nimble Streamer has a way to synchronize all sources which have SEI metadata with timecodes typically based on NTP. In this video we will demonstrate the following setup. Two Makito X encoders stream from different locations with their own SRT latencies. They are connected with two cameras pointed at time.gov website. The encoded streams are sent to an instance of Nimble Streamer in AWS via SRT. Nimble takes streams with SEI timecode metadata. It holds frames with respective timestamp for a predefined delay period of time to make sure all frames with particular time have arrived. Then it sends them out at the same time into NDI output. So Nimble will generate two synchronized output NDI streams, which can be used in production. Let's start with Nimble Streamer instance setup. Nimble instance has already been set up on Amazon Cloud. It's the latest version with transcoder add-on and license and with SRT package. The virtual machine is synchronized with an NTP server to make sure the time is correct. First, we define settings of incoming SRT streams in the MPEG-TS in tab of live stream settings. We define to receive streams using all available interfaces, hence 4.0's IP address. Port number is also different for each SRT input. We use listener mode. The application and stream names are defined for further use in Transcoder. You can learn more about SRT setup and related materials in this video description. Now we will look at the setup process of two Makito X4 encoders. The video of encoder setup and resulting NDI async was provided by Media Monk's company. We'd like to thank Devin Block and Adam Roth. We appreciate your help very much. Let's set up the first encoder. We see a setup console of the first Makito X4 encoder. In this example, the HEVC codec is used and related encoder parameters are set. The timecode source is set to system, so it's taken from onboard time, which synced to current time. The counting mode is set to UTC conversion. The output protocol is set to SRT in color mode. The destination IP port are set to target nimble instance. For this instance, the latency is set to 500 milliseconds. The stream is running now. Let's set up the second Makito X encoder. The setup is similar to the first one, including encoder setup and time parameters. However, two settings are different. It points to the same Nimble instance, but it uses a different port to deliver the stream. And it has different SRT latency. For this instance, it's 350 milliseconds. We can see the streams are received by Nimble. The final step is to set up a transcoder to generate NDI output. A new scenario needs to be created. We add a video source element where we indicate the first SRT input stream. Then we also check forward SEI metadata checkbox. This tells Nimble to take the time codes for processing. The video output is then created for NDI type of output. We enter a name used for output and also go to expert setup. Here we define the timecode delay, which is used for sync up that we mentioned at the beginning of this video. Then we add audio source and NDI audio output to provide the sound. Here we add another pipeline for our second incoming stream and do the same setup. This includes forwarding SEI metadata and adding a delay for NDI output. The audio is also added, of course. Once we save the scenario, it will be applied within a few seconds and Nimble will start producing NDI outputs. Both cameras are rolling, both Makitos are sending streams to Nimble Streamer and synced NDI output is being generated. As you see, both NDI streams are played in sync with each other, showing the same exact time at time.gov. We want to thank again Devin Block and Adam Roth from Media Monks for providing the Makito and NDI footage. Check video description for more information about sync up functionality and other related features.